I actually want to break down, we're not doing legs right now, but I actually want to break something down. I want to kind of give y'all a little bit of information that can help you develop better legs and really get your squat game together. When I get into squats, I squat excessively to a point that I do need to take it out of my program. When I take it out and then put it back in because of the drastic difference from my routine, I have to work back up to the weight I was able to do before. And how I'm able to do that is with box squats. So I got two different box squats right here to show you so you can kind of understand how to build better form, better technique, and overall power. So if you just starting, I always recommend start off with this one. Mainly when you start want to start loading more weight on your back with your barbell squats. It's easy for you to build and start developing a better drive. That's one. So once you do this, for, I would say like a month, a month and a half, maybe two months, then we will make a transition to a lower squat. And a beautiful thing with this is you don't want to use the same amount of weight that you use on this squat. You actually want to go a little bit lower with the weight. If anything, try to get comfortable with the weight. You might want to get comfortable with 135 first. So say for example, you can do 225 with this, right? I would get comfortable with 135 with this pace because what you'll see is when you're at the bottom, this is going to help you develop and build a better drive. So once we start getting heavier with the weight to try to get to the 225, all you have to do is gradually add more weight so your body can get acclimated to this. The only thing I want you to be very, very careful with when doing box squats is you still want to make sure you're adding barbell squats in because you're not challenging your posterior chain with these as much as you are from just lifting the bar by itself. So do be mindful, that is a drawback. So if you are doing these, don't just do these by themselves. Do me a favor and make sure that you do these as well. If you personally wanna do this, like I said, do the bar, do the bar, get, the, get your posterior chain together, but do understand that you can load more weight with the higher box jump than with the lower. Get comfortable with loading weight. So go up, if you start off with 135, Throw a 25 on it. Once you get comfortable with the 25, with that, I think 165, then throw another, you can throw another 10 or throw another 25 on it. That's the only reason why I'm able to do 315 with the low range, with low depth, is because I got comfortable with this little ass box. That's it. Just a quick tip. But overall, we about to hit chest, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it. <laughs>